crafty peeps. Let's get into some patriotic DIYs. In this project, I'm going to use one of these signs from Dollar Tree, and I'm going to go ahead and sand off all of this glitter. After I do that, I realize that I have one of the plain trucks in my stash, and it's going to be so much easier just to paint that. So I'm going to go ahead and use the plain truck. So those are your options if you don't have a plain truck. I'm going to use Waverly in crimson and this other folk art in cascade. I kind of wanted to do a little bit different of a blue for this. And I'm going to take some of my wood filler and fill in these two um, holes that used to be a sign. And I'll go ahead and I will paint this. And I'm just going to fast forward so you don't need to watch me paint the whole thing. But I end up using that red and blue and then some copper. Then I went on my Cricut and I cut out with some white vinyl some fireworks. And I'm just going to put these right down onto this um, cardstock paper to make my fireworks. And this is a good option if you don't have colored vinyl. It may basically gives you so many options. And once I get those stuck down onto my paper, I'll go ahead and cut around them. And I end up making three more. I wanted some bigger ones. I kind of missed the size that I was gonna do because I, I think I wanted three or four inches and I ended up doing like two. So I'm gonna cut a bunch of these out and then I will add them into the back of my truck because what I'm gonna do here is make a um, cute sign that says Liberty Farms Fireworks. And I have had this huge chalk circle here <laughs> in my stuff for, I don't know, at least a year, if not more. And it's 18 inches and it's from Chalk Couture and they had this big clearance sale. I bought like three of them and I haven't done anything with them. And what's so great is I can flip this over and make a sign for another holiday. So anyhow, I go ahead and I'm trying to line everything up and I just measure there just to make sure that everything looks like it's going to fit and be into place. And the way that I designed this is I put an 18 inch circle in Cricut Design Space so that I knew my words were gonna fit perfectly. So I'll go ahead and I will flip it upside down because I feel like it's easier to match it um, at the top <laughs> so just make sure you have your words going the right way okay and so once i get that on i can go ahead and start adding all of my elements onto this um, big sign what i love about this sign is it's huge it and it's such a like statement piece i just i'm really really excited with how this one turned out Okay, so now I'm going to just set my car down and I'm not gluing it down yet because I want to make sure my fireworks fit here into the back. And so I will go ahead and I will glue those down where I'll stick them down with some double stick tape. And then I'm gonna, on some of them, use the foam tape, the thick tape, so that they pop out a little more and get a little more dimension. And once I get all of my fireworks in, then I can glue my truck down. And I just do that by using some hot glue. And then I thought it would be fun to say that this farm was established in 1776. That would be an old fireworks <laughs> company, but you know, you know why I use 1776. And then I also um, cut out some stars um, to add to the sides. And when I put that in design space, what I had done is just flipped it so that the other side would match, but would also be rounded in the correct way. That's pretty much it after gluing everything down. And then I had these cute little um, star beads that you see up in the right hand corner. And I picked those up, they're all stars. It's silver, gold, and copper. And I went ahead and grabbed one of the copper ones out and glued it to the truck there. And, um, and then this was done. You can use that burlap that you see off to the side to hang it. At the time I wasn't quite sure 
what I was going to do there, but you can see the slot at the top for your ribbon. And this is how it turned out. I love it so much. It's kind of a bummer that you can't really grasp the size, but it's so great. Today's video is sponsored by HelloFresh. If you don't know what HelloFresh is, it is a meal service that comes to your door all prepped for you. So all the ingredients are measured out already and the meats ingredients are all ready for you with a nice recipe card. I love them. They're so good for those nights when you just don't have time to prep a big meal. Spin the box to see what you get inside. The meal kits are shipped overnight and they come in this um, cooled box that has like ice in it and you get your bag so this is a three meal box and in the bags is all the ingredients that you'll need besides the meats and then the meats are also pre-packaged and ready to go we got the calorie conscious uh, meal kit and we got the three meals for a family of four and it was the perfect amount of food there was no leftovers we ate every bite and then you get these um, these little pamphlets and everything, but you also get the three recipe cards. And that is going to be where it's step by step showing you how easy these meals are to put together. Mm -hmm. And my family actually likes to cook these. My teenage daughter loves to make these. And we hold on to these cards and we make them again. So I want to tell you that today I have a coupon code for you. It is DollarMom12. And by using my code, you can get up to 12 free meals across four boxes. And I know we will definitely be doing that. And this is all the ingredients that you see in one meal. And this was for the pecan crusted chicken and an apple salad. And I'm telling you, we ate every bite and it was the perfect amount of food. And again, everything is nice and fresh as you can see here and pre-measured. So my husband is chopping up the pecans here and mixing everything together. And it was fun to cook together. I made the salad while he made the chicken. And like I said, it was so good and so easy to make. It's so nice not to have to think about what's for dinner. And it's so nice just to have everything ready to go on a busy night. And as you can see there, um, we are just doing our cooking together. And then my dog is hoping I drop something because, you know, that's what they do. <laughs> so again, really easy, really delicious. I like that they have the calorie conscious uh, meal choices. Again, here is what it looked like when it was all done. For this project, I'm going to use this USA tag sign, which is super cute all on its own. So I'm actually just going to flip it over and keep that back side. I really like it. And of course, I bought two so that I could have one that way. And then I'm using this gnome pick um, garden steak from Dollar Tree as well. And it just pops right off. I knew that I was going to make a sign right when I saw those garden steaks. And then I'm gonna just take some scrapbook paper here and cut it out. I pre-cut it here so you could see. And I'm just gonna start uh, taping down these papers onto this sign. And so this one, this sheet right here is gonna be my background. And scrapbook paper comes in 12 by 12 size. And so usually these signs are like 13 or 14 inches. So you usually have to do like a top or bottom border which is what I'm gonna do here with this striped paper. And then the blue and red there is just gonna be a mat that our gnome can um, be placed against. On my way down memory lane, you and me long time ago. We were teens with tremendous dreams, always playing. And now with this navy blue 
one piece right here. I cut out, I cut out on my Cricut the words Gnome of the Brave, and I will link the font down below. Don't remember it off the top of my head, but it's just kind of a cutesy font. Man, my words today, guys. A cutesy font. And I'll just add that um, onto my um, navy blue sheet there. Um, you can use uh, little white stickers. I thought I had some little white stickers, but I couldn't find them. And now that I have my little joy here um, that I got recently, oh my gosh, it's so easy just to whip out little vinyl words and sayings. Oh, so much easier. So once I get that down um, onto the sign, Pretty much just glue it down. I'm gonna have to cut a hole um, back out at the top so I can add a ribbon, and then this project is complete. And I think it's so cute. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I hope you will stick around by hitting that subscribe button as well as the notification bell. You can also come over and find me on Instagram. I share a lot over there, all of my projects, my hauls, as well as my personal life so we can get to know each other better. My name over there is dollar underscore underscore mom and I really have a lot of fun over there. All right, so I hope that you enjoyed this cute little project because I certainly love gnomes and if you've been on my page for a while then you know I try to make a gnome something for every holiday. Today's video is also part of a Dollar Tree DIY hop hosted by the Domestic Diva, and I will link her channel below, as well as the link for you to hop on over to the next Dollar Tree DIY. I've been collecting the wood stars that I see at Dollar Tree, and here's a few of them that I have, as well as their little burlap um, one is left over from Christmas that I got from Hobby Lobby. I'm going to use some of this paint in Midnight Blue, as well as the Waverly and Crimson, and some scrapbook paper, and I'm going to make a hanging, uh, what would you call those? Kind of like a door hanger, but I'm going to hang up on the ceiling. I don't know. I don't know the name of that. You'll have to let me know what you call those when they like dangle from the ceiling. <laughs> I'm going to take all the labels off because you will see both sides of this and so I'm just going to heat up the labels and peel those off. And once I get all those um, taken care of, I'm going to decide which ones of my uh, printed papers I want to use for which stars as well as just I will paint some of them as well. And for this one with the two stars, I'm gonna pop this one off so that it'll be easier to put the paper on. Be very careful. These things are on there pretty good and I have cut myself before with the spatula trying to get these things off and I shot it. <laughs> Luckily, I found it. So I'm gonna take my papers here and then I will trace around them and cut all the stars out. And then I'm gonna paint a couple and the stars as well. So I will be right back and show you what I did. Okay, so now all of my papers are cut out. With this big one, I just painted the sides and back the navy blue, and I will Mod Podge that paper on. And this one, I put, made a little blue star for the center and striped paper for that one. And then this one will have this dangling center one where I will do both sides in the polka dot paper. And then I just painted in crimson on the border of that big star. Now, this is the only one that didn't have a hole in it, so I will take my crocodile tool and punch a hole in it. If you are not familiar with the crocodile, it is amazing. It goes through tin, wood, hard cardboard, all sorts of stuff. So now I'm just going to decide which one of these I want at each length, and then I will tie a piece of jute to that. 
and decide which ones do I want high low and then I will just tie them all together and that's it and just make some really cute uh, decoration you can hang from your ceiling you can hang it from your door you could add it to the bottom of a wreath there's all sorts of things that you can do and I hope that you enjoyed these three patriotic DIYs today and stay tuned because I have another patriotic video coming out later this week if you like this video I sure hope you will give it a thumbs up and share the video always helps my channel until next time happy crafting looking back about 20 years or so when i close my eyes i see how we all were tripping with belief